Hi, I'm Nan Simonson, and I'm about to make lunch, and you're invited to come along. You've seen me do this in other videos, but I'm doing it to talk to you about an easy, easy tool <laughs> that you can find in my Amazon shopping page, and you'll get a link for that at the bottom of the video or in descriptions. But I also wanted to remind you, it's spring, and what do we do? We spring into good health with fresh foods. If we didn't have a lot of fresh foods or in a cold climate, this is the time that you can begin to find everything. So let me show you what I do with my salad. I use this simple big bowl, and I believe this one is a, an anchor hawking, but it could have been Pyrex. It's nice and thick. It's the size I want for one salad. Would you believe it? But I will be doing an additional salad for my husband. And I start it with something big and chunky on the bottom, what I always put in my salads. And I am a whole food plant-based health and wellness coach with a lifestyle medical practice, lifestyle medicine promotes whole food plant-based. And so what I'm doing is giving you food as close to nature as possible in most cases. So I keep cabbage around all the time the red cabbage and green, but the red has those same anthocyanins as blueberries. So you want a variety of very colorful foods. Everything I eat, I eat for a reason. For example, you're going to see jicama. This is the back end <laughs> of jicama. I take the top and bottom off and I soak it for several hours because somebody told me her family did that. And I think it does make it a little more moist and then keep it in the refrigerator. Okay, so I put something crunchy and thick at the bottom because this tool, Quick Cut, K-W-I-K-K-U-T, that I was given when I was 15 years old. Now I'm 73. 15 was a very long time ago, and I've had it ever since. I used to be, well, now I'm whole food plant-based. That's going on six years. But for example, when I had eggs and I did egg salad, I became famous for my deviled eggs and my egg salad. They were fabulous, well, hens and they laid fabulous eggs. In any case, I would use this to cut up the egg salad. Now I use it for things like this salad. And I wanted to hit something kind of uh, thick to crunch through it. And this is a good way to do it. And then I use a lot of greens. So I put in a bowl, something that I wanted to show you. For example, arugula. Arugula is a great food for nitric oxide in your diet, just like beets for the bitterness that they add to a salad. Love spinach. Spinach is one of our more healthy greens. It has oxalates and some people worry about that, but if you cook them, then you can displace most of the oxalates. And then I have um, shredded kale. And I buy these already taken care of, because if you're thinking, I don't want to clean all of that, I buy organic arugula. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I buy organic shredded kale. I got that, actually I got all of these from the store near me, Trader Joe's. I use organic baby spinach. They're already washed, so they're cut up, cleaned, washed, and they're not that expensive. In some stores, if they give that kind of treatment to food, they really charge you a lot. Um, but there are resources that aren't. So I'm putting these greens in this bowl, and what I'm creating is a chopped salad. Oh, by the way, what is, let me see if I can pull one out. What is that little guy? Well, it's a leaf from uh, a Brussels sprout. I roasted Brussels sprouts last night and cut off the top, which means some of the leaves fall off. Well, some of the leaves are old and not nice looking or tasting, but some of them aren't. So I just opened, well, I already had my kale bag open and I just threw this in my kale bag. Why aren't I pulling these straight out of the bag? Because the bags are really noisy, as you could hear earlier. All right, so that's my chopped salad. We stopped at the farm store as we do every week. I'm in Southern California, so all year there's a farm store pulling produce right out of the fields. And we got some beautiful lettuce, and you know what? I will put in a few of these. All right, so if I had to sit down to this with a lot of things in it, uh, it would just, it would fill up the bowl too much. It would be 
it's too difficult to go through all that chewing. I'll let this do it for me. And what I do is I simply press through and kind of give it this action. And if your hand is delicate, my palm may not be, and maybe I'm used to this because I do it every day. Um, and it bothers your hand, just wrap a napkin, uh, a little paper towel or something around your hand. But what's gonna happen is this big bowl, and this bowl is about a 12 cup bowl, 10 to 12 cup. This bowl that was so full is going to give me the amount of greens that I can easily eat or that I choose to eat. I think I'm looking at maybe eight, um, maybe six to eight ounces of greens in my salad. And I want that every day. Our greens are the source and kale is the number one food nutritionally per calorie. So kale is a super, super food. Um, fiber, minerals, phytonutrients, phytochemicals, which mean things that quite often pharmaceuticals try to create that are right in our food. Okay, I'm done. And I was done before I was just busy talking. All right, so what I have is a chopped down salad that is nicely chopped. And I'm gonna create a pretty bowl. Now, sometimes I'll put some of this, let me show you. I'll just take some of this, put it on my husband's plate. He gets, we both do get some um, dry roasted edamame sometimes or chickpeas sometimes or some other protein source, but he has an entire other lunch besides just the salad. He has open face uh, avocado sandwiches every day and then a salad. And then over there in my Breville oven, I'm ready to um, create uh, his um, crunchy uh, air fried potatoes. They've been steamed once a week. Everything I do is batch cook. And now, you know what? I better turn this on because he's gonna be here pretty soon. I'm sorry for the little bit of noise, but I wanted you to hear me right up front. Okay, so I'm gonna add this to a bowl that I use, but what I was saying is quite often, but I want it to be prettier for you. Quite often, I'll simply throw everything in here, mix it up and eat it right out of the bowl. It looks like I'm eating out of a trough. And yes, I do eat quite a bit. When you eat whole food plant-based, no oil, doesn't mean no fat, I'll have tahini, and that's um, sesame paste, and that has oil. Uh, well, it's own fat, and the same thing with sometimes a nut butter. Um, but I'm quite aware of the lack of nutritional value, and yet the enormous amount of calories of processed oils, and the fact that they're very high in omega, threes and I prefer to get, sorry, very high in omega sixes and I prefer to get all the threes that I can and they kind of fight with each other. Okay, so I have this nice small bowl that was this enormous bowl and now I'm gonna decorate it. I have chickpea no tuna salad that you can find on my um, YouTube or my, my YouTube is YouTube Nan Simonson and my website is nansimonson.com. This is so delicious because the ingredients leave it tasting a little bit like tuna. You'll have to take a look at that. So I'm gonna start with that. That's my protein source. I was out gardening in a strip I sort of sequestered in the alley behind my house. It's just a, a dirt driveway that utilities can get to when they need to. And in my gardening bed, I found a huge potato. I don't know when I planted it. Obviously, I didn't get a lot of others because I barely remembered it. And I couldn't remember what kind of a potato it was. It's not very pretty, it's really dark. But I steamed it thinking I was steaming a waxy potato. That's a sweet potato. So I'm gonna put a sweet potato. I can put it anywhere. I'm just doing this to show you that when we eat with our eyes, things can look that much more appealing. I always use jicama, J-I-C-A-M-A, -A, which I just showed you. These three slices will go on my, my husband's crudite plate. Yes, he has the salad, 
and the potatoes air fried and an open face avocado sandwich with lettuce, tomato, onion, and um, avocado. avocado. Um, but he also gets jicama. Jicama has something called inulin, which is a soluble fiber. Really, really nice to have in our, in our diet. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm just throwing things in now. I have chopped um, apple, and this is, this is only one quarter of an apple, and I chop it fine because I like a lot of these flavors in each bite. And sometimes I'll eat it piece by piece, but a lot of times I'll simply throw it all together. And that's why finally there was a point at which I thought, just leave it in the big bowl, man, and that's what I did. But I can't show that off to you. It's not that pretty. And we'll put some carrot. This is shredded carrot that I also get already washed, already shredded, $2 or something. But it would be no big deal for you to shred or chop your own carrot. And then I like sugar snap peas. I also love these little bell peppers. And I can't eat that much. So my husband gets half of the orange, I get half of the orange and we split the red. Why? Because the more color you put in your diet, the more polyphenols you're getting, the more nutrients. I am crazy about beets. So I steam beets in my Instant Pot on a rack with a rack on top of that and potatoes of about the same size. And it's usually nine minutes or 10 minutes. The beets have to be at the bottom or you'll have pink potatoes. And that's how I end up with potatoes and beets um, that I'm doing as batch cooking without doing a lot of extra, uh, a lot of extra work. So I have my beets here, and then I love sugar snap peas, little sugar snap peas. I buy those by the bag, and they're cleaned and already ready to go. The bag I buy them in says put it in the microwave for three minutes. My grill is just hit high. Um, put it in the microwave and you'll have your sugar snap peas. I'm going to say to you, never cook in plastic, please. Even those plastic bags, there's no way they're not losing their polymers and their plastic when they're that hot and that wet and that moist inside. So you just take them out, put them in a bowl, put a saucer or a little something on top and microwave it that way. It's a lot cleaner of a way to eat. So I take those out of the package, chop them up, sugar snap peas, and this is it. Now, what can I add in addition to this? If I wanted to, if you wanted to, I could add cherry tomatoes, but with the fruit that I'm using, and I'm not quite done with the fruit, um, the cherry tomatoes, the tomatoes don't go as well. One of the things I will put in here is chopped pickle. I like getting um, fermented foods. And fermented food doesn't mean pickled and you buy it in the jar on the, in the store in an aisle. You are looking for live culture fermented foods. An example for, well, for example, this is kimchi. I got this at Costco, really well priced at Costco. It is organic. Oh, it is, isn't it? Well, it's no GMO, gluten-free. I thought it was organic, it's not. Well, I'm gonna live with that. Um, anyway, naturally fermented kimchi, but what you're looking for is the fact that there are live cultures in there, and there are. And so quite often I'll put some kimchi. Well, I get my pickles the same way. Pickles that have live culture, and I chop up just a little, because what you get in a mouthful of this is something salty, something sweet like the apple, something savory like the beet. I don't know if you're familiar with this little fruit. It's called kumquat. I have a tree that produces kumquats. I thinly slice the kumquat into teeny little pieces, and I've even isolated in my mouth where the flavor hits, both sides. It's actually quite tart, but the more you chew it, that's the thing about kumquat, you chew it, it starts out being ooh, so tart, and then it gets sweet. So the more you chew it, the more you get that 
and I'm gonna put just a couple here for color, but when you're not watching, <laughs> and I don't care what it looks like, that whole thing will go into my salad. The whole thing will be mixed up. Yes, I'm gonna put some onion. My onion, my husband has onion in his sandwich, so we can exchange words without um, knocking the other one over. Another idea is to use hummus on your salad. And another use, uh, way to do it is sometimes just a, a single fruit. Look at the size of this beautiful strawberry we got at the farm store. Strawberry and toasted pecan on arugula and romaine salad with some red onion and a poppy seed dressing. Is that burning? No. And you have a beautiful salad. So sometimes you can keep it as simple as that. What dressing am I making or would, am I using? This is Nan's house dressing, but I have a number of Caesar dressings that I love. You can find my dressings on the my website. And I tend, tend to do some for a while and then others for a while, but I make a lot of it because I want this to last me for the week. Doesn't that look fantastic? I am going to, this is something I've been playing with and I like it so much that I'm gonna post it within, you know what, I'll even post it this week. So watch for it on my YouTube channel or my website, what will I call it? Nan's Newest, that's what I'll do, Nan's Newest Salad Dressing. It's made with um, tofu, so there's the, the silken tofu, so there's, there's protein in it, there's lemon and mustard and even some miso and some nutritional yeast, but not a lot. I became rather sensitive to some of the ones that I was making with a half a cup of nutritional yeast. I can't do that. Anyway, I'll be drizzling all of that on the salad. I might, when you're not looking, throw the whole thing back in the bowl and mix it. And yes, I will eat all of this. Take a look. Treat yourself to something pretty Treat yourself to something delicious and treat yourself to the whole foods that are plant-based and that we were designed to eat, to feed the gut bugs, and we call that the microbiome. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's a deep dive for you that will help you be healthier longer and um, 